Hi, this is Cheryl with Arthritis Life. Today I'm gonna to tell you about my absolute favorite kind of scissors, and this is a totally unsponsored review. This is just my favorite pair of scissors for having arthritis. Um, I'm gonna compare and contrast these Fiskars Easy Action scissors to two other Fiskars brand scissors, which honestly I do use if I can't easily get these or if I'm just being too impatient, but these are by far the easiest for me because of my arthritis. So for your typical like default pair of scissors, you're gonna put your thumb in the top hole and then your other fingers in the bottom and then you're moving both up and down simultaneously. And as you're doing that, you're, it's actually a lot of stress, um, for me at least, on the base of my thumb joint. That's one of the ones that um, is irritated the most for arthritis for me. Um, also the MCP joint, which is kind of the fancier, um, word for your knuckle joint stints for metacarpal phalangeal joint that's also a little bit strained by by this technique so i find it to be um, difficult and over time if you're doing a lot of cutting for your job or for a hobby maybe you're um, doing some collage work you're um, you might want to consider getting a easy what is it called again easy action um, pair of scissors What this does is it allows you to, um, you're really using those other fingers and you're completely don't, not using your thumb at all. You, so you're stabilizing the item in the palm of your hand rather than having to use your thumb. So when I'm cutting a piece of paper with these, I'm just going up and down. I'm kind of resting my thumb on the top. It's hard not to actually use it, but typically I'm just kind of, my thumb is resting on the top or it's hanging out on the side. You can actually kind of just have it hang out right there, but you're pushing with the, this, your palm with the hand muscles, as well as you're um, pulling in from your other, your pinky, ring, middle, and pointer fingers. So again, from a mechanical standpoint, this is really a lot easier on your thumb joint than having to actively and continuously go open, closed, open, closed with your thumb with your typical pair of scissors. That being said, if you don't have the access to one of these, either financially or just they're not available in your area, you can always try to think about a workaround strategy or modifi modification. Actually, sometimes it's easier to do that with a smaller pair because you can kind of go like maybe like this and people who are born with congenital limb differences, for example, which means born without five fingers, they might be born with six, might be born with two or three. They often are actually a great resource for those of us who have um, hand pain or strain because they figure out, they have no choice but to figure out how to um, do a workaround. So for example, you know, you could hook it in, I'm able to cut with just my pointer finger and middle finger. Again, this is not ideal because this is actually stressing my knuckles out a little more, but um, if you're having severe pain on, on your thumb, you could try to finagle away or a compensatory strategy or workaround strategy for cutting with a typical pair of scissors. I often will say, you know, it's more important to change how you interact with an object than to change the object itself um, um, because it's so tempting to just want to buy a different gadget and have that gadget kind of do the work for you. But in this case, I would say there are specific cases, um, in this being one, where the object itself is extremely beneficial and helpful. So in my life, in my opinion, I prefer to use these easy action Fiskar scissors. So this is Cheryl and that's today's life hack or product review tip. Thanks so much and let me know your thoughts in the comments. So if you have another of your own favorite pairs of scissors, I would love to hear about it. Bye.